In this video, we will be studying about the institutional, institutional and journal reforms uh, that are be take, uh, being taken by the government in, in order to improve the agriculture in India. So let's first understand the institutional reforms. The first one is abolition of intermediaries. What government is doing nowadays, what government is abolishing the middlemen between the buyer and the farmers. So the middlemen actually exploit the farmers. So what government is doing, government is trying to uh, exclude or eliminate the intermediaries. So intermediaries between the state and the actual tiller of the soil popularly known as zamindars have been abolished. The second is here, yeah, the regulation of rent. Means the owners of the soil cannot charge whatever rent they want from the tillers of the soil or from the farmers. Generally, these should not exceed one third of the value of the crop. If the value of the crop is let's say uh, 9 lakh rupees. It should not exceed one third, that is rupees three lakh, the rent of the uh, land. So there is a regulation on the rent of the land. Third is your consolidation of holdings. Now what government has done? The uh, the farmers have these small, very small ends scattered holdings so what they have done they have given the farmers the same holdings at the same place with a view to combat the fragmentation step have been initiated for the consolidation of holdings now much hectares of land was bought under consolidated holding implying holding of a farmer at one place rather than the scattered in pieces at several places so the people at one place he was given that holding and the person at that place who has the uh, one holding there he was given the other holding in the same place only with the same amount so his holding was just changed from here to here so this was the consolidation of holdings the consolidation of farms Fourth is sealing on land holdings. With a view to promote the equality in the distribution of land, sealing has been imposed on the land holding size. If there is surplus land with some owner, what the government has done, government that is over and above the sealing limit. So, government has taken that land into its uh, hand and it has redistributed among the small uh, holders and landless labors. So, sealing on the land is done by the government, which is other institutional reform. Fifth is your cooperative farming. Cooperative farming is encouraged to further consolidate the gain of consolidation of holdings it is uh, it is encouraged also to enhance bargaining power of the small holders in the competitive marketing structure so cooperative farming is being imposed in order to avoid the conflict between the tillers of the soil and the owners of the soil and also they have uh, started arranging the organized market system wherein they can do the marketing very easily now the other is journal reform so first is your expansion of irrigation facilities see we know that the irrigation is the major problem of the agri uh, of the agriculture in india 
that is there are no permanent source of irrigation we the farmers in india are dependent upon the rainfall for the irrigation now what government has done government has uh, done the expansion of the irrigation facilities that is the permanent irrigation which is the uh, introduced tube wells uh, or the canals right wells or the multi purpose projects like the dams in order to save the water of the rainfall so these are all the permanent irrigation facilities so government has increased the multi purpose projects in tube wells so dry farming techniques have been introduced in area where irrigation was not possible so in this way it has done the expansion of irrigation facilities the second comes up is your provision of credit so credit was the other problem which was faced by the far farmers they used to go to the known financial inst uh, institutional um, creditors who used to charge very high rate of interest from the farmers now what government has done government has introduced the cooperative societies those you uh, these used to give the farmer loans on very less rate of interest very very nominal rate of interest then your rural regional banks were open rural development banks were open right the other main bank which helps the farmer is nabar which is your national bank for agriculture and rural development this bank was actually established in order to provide the credit facilities to the farmers at the national level and the credit uh, which was given to the farmer was on very very less rate of interest third is your regulated markets and cooperative marketing society the regulated market market have been established across all part of the country why this is uh, established that it uh, will offer the remunerative prices to the farmers and protect them against the exploitation which is done by the middlemen so there is also the abolition of middlemen and intermediary uh, intermediaries by the government on the same hand the markets have been regulated so that there is a direct connection of the farmers with the buyers of the crop with the buyers of the raw material that can either be you me government or industries right wherein they are exploited or abolished the middlemen so it's who used to exploit the farmers so cooperative marketing societies have been established to enhance bargaining power of the farmers in the market fourth is your price support policy now what government has done it has come up with the new measure that is the minimum support price this is the minimum price that will be that will be given to the farmers for selling of the crops or selling of the production so to motivate the farmers to increase the farm output it is necessary to protect them against the uncertainties of market if, uh, like the demand and supply of the crop so it is very un these are the uncertainties of market and thing can happen in the market what government has done government has come up with the minimum support price that is the minimum price the government will 
definitely pay to the farmer, uh, farmer for its produce. So these are the institutional and general reforms. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.